Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is David Tal. This is the Balagan Connection, and this is the first of a series of clips that I've decided to do in connection to this war that is taking place. And I've decided to call them what is true and what is false. And we're going to select a subject on each one of these and, and kind of zoom into what is true about each and each, every one of these subjects. Today, the subject is going to be the Gaza Strip. What is true about the Gaza Strip and what is false. Um, let's start off with what we do know. The Gaza Strip is a strip of land, probably about, I'd say about 25 miles long and about 10, 12 miles wide, that has a population of 2.2, 2.3 million Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. That is true. What is false is that it is occupied territory. And let's go over the history really quick so we understand what we're talking about. Until 1948, the Gaza Strip was under British control, part of the British mandate. In 1948, the War of Independence, the British uh, have left, and the Gaza Strip is under Egyptian control. After the war, the Six-Day War in 1967, the Gaza Strip becomes part or under Israeli control. Israelis actually are in control of all of that. The peace agreement with Egypt, we tried to give Gaza back to the Egyptians. They did not. And in 2006, Israel pulls out of Gaza completely pulls out of Gaza, and from 2006 till this day, there is no Israeli government in Gaza. That is truth. What is false is Israel's occupying Gaza. It is not. It's not occupying Gaza. The occupation that they're talking about is something wider, and we'll talk about that. But Israel does not occupy Gaza. Another thing that Israel has a border with Gaza, but also G Egypt has a border with Gaza, which means Israel is not making Gaza into an open air prison. The Egyptians have a door on their side. We have doors on their, our side. Because of the attacks over the years, Israel has decided not to allow pipes and not to allow explosives and not to allow things that jeopardize us. But we do allow medication. We do allow food. We supply their electricity. We supply their fuel. Okay. But we have not occupied, we have no responsibility. It's not an occupied territory. We allow their workers to come into Israel and work in Israel. But still, the Hamas government, which is fundamentally Islamic, we'll talk about that next chapter, is out to destroy the state of Israel. They don't see any reason for any kind of existence. So they attack us and Israel, again, retaliates. And we'll talk about how and why we retaliated in one of these chapters. So. What is true is there's a lot of suffering in, in Gaza right now. What is false is that Israel is not responsible for it. We have never been the de facto government, haven't been the government there since 2006. And everything that's happening now in Gaza is the responsibility of the Gaza government, also known as the Hamas fundamentalist Islamic jihadi organization that is holding all of the people in Gaza as captive more than anything else. That's the truth. This is David Tal. This is the Balagan Connection. The next chapter we'll talk about is who and what the Hamas is and see how that ties together. Hope to see you soon.